Be cautious. A dragon such as this is better to avoid than engage. Done and done. It is done. Speak them.
Looking for little old me? Mm, let's... Bid you welcome, Pilgrim. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The Gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering and the suffering of others. You abandoned your father and mother, leaving them in the hands of Rendon Howe, knowing he would show no mercy. Do you think you failed your parents? Then you do not dwell on past mistakes, neither yours nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. One wonders what this Guardian's purpose is. Be wary of his traps. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open all wounds? And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you... Why do you say the Maker speaks to you, when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... 
For the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? That is not of what I speak. Right. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders, that all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong. That belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. 
The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamari, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too, but what man can compare with a god? The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinter into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done, and knew the Makers smiled on us. She wields the broken sword and separate true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion, as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. My dearest child. You know that I am gone, and all your prayers and wishes will not bring me back. Harp, I know you miss me, but my death and my life no longer have a hold on you. This is how it should be. Set your eyes on the horizon. Do not look back, and do not falter. You have such a long road ahead of you, and you must be prepared. And so I leave this in your hands. I know you will do great things with it.
Warden senses tingling. Oh, this should be good. Ah! Terrible at puzzles. What good is an incorporeal bridge? Are we supposed to imagine ourselves on the other side? Of course. now. Right. Maker's breath. Andraste only favored the clever, it seems. been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste, and like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes.
I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... Oh, I, I, I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here's, here she is. I stand in awe. Really.